Hi guys, so to get started, we're gonna be using the Scandinavia Primer Spray, which I think is super helpful when I'm doing super dramatic looks like this one. And I'm gonna be moisturizing my face with a sensitive lotion. Also, my hair, I have it braided and I sprayed some sea salt spray in it to get the waves that I'm gonna be having at the end. Lucky for me, my hair's super long. <laughs> for my foundation, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in R230, and I'm just gonna be blending that all over my face with the Morphe um, M439 brush. I put in one contact and these are from Divine Eye Candy and I'm going to be priming my eyes like usual with the Urban Decay um, concealer just like I always do. For this first shadow we're going to be using Candy by NYX and I'm just going to be using that as my transition shade all over the lid. All of the brushes in this tutorial are by Morphe brushes so I will link them all below. And the second one we're going to be using is called Poolside. They're very similar, but I feel like they have different undertones to them. One is more like a white pale undertone, and the other one does have more of a blue undertone. So as you can see, I'm sweeping this all over the crease and onto the inner corner. For our next one, we're going to be using Turned Up. I think that's like the funniest name for an eyeshadow ever. And I'm going to be focus focusing this one primarily on the outer corner. We really want to give our eyes a lot of depth. And another one is Electro Shock, which I think is super pretty. It's almost kind of purpley which adds a little bit more depth to this look rather than keep it all super blue <laughs> So for these shadows, the next two shadows I'm going to be using are from the Morphe Brushes 35B palette. So I use a darker navy blue color and then I'm going to be using a black. So um, you can substitute these with any shadows. You don't have to use the Morphe ones, um, but I just, that's what I had in front of me. So that's what I used and I feel like black in the outer corner just makes any colorful eye look come together. Okay, so for the very inner corner, I'm using more of a green teal shade, and this one is called Dare by NYX, and I bring that down to kind of contour the sides of my nose almost, um, and I'm going to use that later after I've gone in with all the concealers and everything as well, but I really want to bring that to the inner corner. For my gel liner, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Gel Liner in Blackest Black. Um, I'm doing a very basic wing, nothing too dramatic with this part. And then with the NYX Skinny Marker, I believe it's called, I'm going to be using this to draw the inner corner. So I want this to be very dramatic because I just feel like a mermaid would have a very dramatic inner corner. <laughs> So I'm setting my face with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm just pressing that in all over my face since I'm gonna be going in with a bunch of other colors and things. I'm not trying super hard here. And I'm using that same teal shadow and I'm gonna be contouring my nose, kind of figuring out how much depth I want here and how much color. For the lid, I'm using the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Pegasus and I dampened my brush with some Makeup Forever Mist and Fix and just applied that over top of the lid. For our scar, as you can see, I'm only wearing the one contact because I'm giving her some kind of scar. I feel like a mermaid queen type person <laughs> would um, have not made it to where she is today without having a couple of scars from the fisherman. So I'm using a ultra matte lipstick and then some Ridge and Collodion over top of it and that's what's going to give it that deep scar effect. For our brows, I wanted to use the Sparkle Green Jumbo Pencil by NYX. I feel like this is a really good pencil for your brows. I know that sounds ridiculous, but if you're going to be doing a crazy color, then these pencils deliver a lot of pigment. So I'm just going to be going in that outer tail and darkening that with a dark green shade from the Morphe 35B. So this is a swimsuit cover-up <laughs> that I got literally at like Goodwill for $2. And I'm just going to be using all of those dark blue shades to be giving myself some scales. So I kind of tested that out and then I decided that I wanted to go in with the gold shade in the middle because she's like a queen. She deserves to have some gold on her. So this is gold acrylic paint. You can use any kind of um, gold paint that you have as long as it's safe for the skin. This one is, um, it's, there's no specific brand. I got it at a craft store. So, um, but it's non-toxic and this is a gold metallic powder. I did not have the one that I have currently. Um, I couldn't find it, but I like the Makeup Forever one the best. Um, this is a good alternative. Like I said, I just got this at a craft store. So, um, again, the Makeup Forever one is the better option, but this works pretty well. So I'm just going to be going in all over my face with that um, fishnet type style to give myself these scales. And I want to go over the um, gold a little bit. 
I'm focusing this primarily with blues, but I'm fading in some green to give it more depth and um, a little bit, you know, perception there. Again, I'm gonna, I decided that I wanted to basically where I would highlight my face, I want to highlight with gold. So I go in with the metallic um, paint and then the powder, and then I just go over that slightly on the edges to um, bring out the scales. So it almost looks like the gold is just peeking through a little bit. This is a super easy method to do um, like mermaid scales. I think this is like the easiest way ever. For my lashes, I'm using these House of Lashes um, Ice Queen lashes. They have blue glitter on them. I believe they're out of stock now. They were limited edition. Um, but to add to that, I'm using the NYX Color Mascara, the blue. And this is just gonna add a little bit more of that blue color on the lids um, to just bring out more of the blue rather than the green. So for the gills, these are, I don't know if they're necessarily gills, but like scales. Um, I made these out of some gelatin and put in some Kryolan uh, green aqua paint and I wanted this to kind of look like the gills were just kind of peeking through the rest of the skin. So I didn't want to cover my entire face with this. I just wanted to make it look like I had been out of the water for just a little bit too long and the gills were coming back out. <laughs> so I just glued those down with a little bit of Ben Nye Spirit Gum and then I go over the edges slightly with the um, fishnet to give that more of a um, blended effect. Okay, so to go over those, I'm using the NYX Macaron Lippy in blue velvet, and I'm just kind of defining those scales a little bit, just the edges of them, and then I'm gonna blend that out. Also because I felt like they were a little bit too green compared to how blue the rest of my face was. Um, so just blend that out a little bit, and then go in with the shadow and do the scales on the edges, and that will make it seem more blended. So I'm just gonna go over my entire face now with all of the fishnet to get the scales as much as I want them. Um, I didn't wanna go too overboard because I do want this to look like I'm still partially human. Um, so like there are some spots that don't have the scales on them just because I didn't want it to go super intense. And I decided to um, go with the NYX Wicked Lippy in Envy, which is definitely more of a blue than the rest of the look, but I felt like my lips needed to be darker and more defined than all of the other colors that I had going on. So um, I'm just gonna be applying this all around my lips. And this does have a more metallic look, which I felt like was more appropriate. And I decided to draw in a little extended smile almost. <laughs> I felt like that looked more fish-like because I do want to have more of the fish effect and um, those mouths are definitely wider. <laughs> um, to make my scales appear a little bit more defined, I put a little tiny bit of that um, metallic powder on top of them and that just made them shine a little bit more which I felt like was very appropriate for the mermaid. So for my neck, um, I go in with a couple of types of brushes to get this color on there, but for my neck and my chest and arms, I'm using the Kryolan Aqua Paints. Um, I have the blue, the yellow, and the green and I'm just kind of putting those wherever I see fit. Like I said, I don't want this to be super opaque. I don't need my entire body to be covered in um, blue or whatever because I do want this to kind of look washed off in a sense because I am partially human. So I'm just going in all over that area, um, mixing the colors, just kind of seeing where I like it and putting it there. There's no real rhyme or reason to this, so you can just kind of have fun. And I decided to put on a couple of little beads just because I felt like they looked almost like um, crustaceans. So I put on with eyelash glue two of these little beads and I think they're technically for necklaces or whatever. <laughs> and for the rest of my arms, I did put on gold because I like the gold. It's so pretty and I wish that my whole body looked like that all the time. And I'm just adding some scales on my chest and a certain areas to bring that out a little bit more. And to add a little bit more metallic sheen to the lips, I am using that gold powder once again and blending that out. Um, and that is it. Thank you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.